in lung airways and passages in other organs such as our pancreas and intestine, cell surfaces contain tiny proteins called CFTRs. These proteins act as channels for chloride ions to regulate the movement of salt and water in and out of cells. In cystic fibrosis, this process is disrupted or completely non-existent because of a mutation or error in the CFTR gene, the gene that provides the instructions for making CFTR protein channels. As a result, thick sticky mucus builds up on the surface of many organs. Is there something you can do to stay healthy? We try to keep our lungs as clear of the mucus as possible. We do this by putting on a special vest several times a day that shakes us to loosen the mucus. So we can then cough it up and spit it out. To keep healthy, we also have to take medicine every day. Lots of medicine. On average, we have to take 40 to 60 pills a day. That's 350 pills a week. And 1,500 a month. And 18,000 a year. Wow, that's a lot of pills. How can we cure cystic fibrosis? Right now, there is no cure, but scientists are working hard every day to find one. And there are lots of people who are helping by donating money so the scientists can keep looking for the cure. Roughly 30,000 Americans and 70,000 people worldwide have cystic fibrosis. The mucus that results from the disease causes infections, digestive problems, and lung deterioration, and usually leads to the death in young adulthood. In order to get the disease, both parents must pass down a CF gene, and an estimated 1 in 29 Caucasian Americans are carriers. Most children aren't diagnosed with CF until age 2, and the life expectancy for people with CF is just 37 years. Some CFTR mutations, such as the G551D mutation, can cause what is called a gating effect, where the CFTR protein channels are present at the cell surface, but fail to open correctly. Kaleidico is a twice-a-day pill designed to keep CFTR protein channels at the cell surface open longer to improve the transport of salt and water across the cell membrane. The FDA approved Vertex Pharmaceuticals drug for patients six years old and up with the rare G551D mutation that affects just 1,200 people in the U.S., about 4% of the affected population nationwide. Kaleidico will improve the function of that protein, and in clinical studies it was shown to improve lung function and beneficial weight gain. Finding Clydeco is like finding a needle in a haystack. We started by first testing over 200,000 compounds in cells that have the defective protein that causes cystic fibrosis. One of these helped make the protein work better. Clydeco is among the first drugs designed to correct a specific genetic defect and represents a great leap towards the idea of personalized medicine, with all decisions and practices being tailored to the individual patient by use of genetic or other information. If the patient's genotype is unknown, an FDA-cleared CF mutation test is used to detect the presence of the G551D mutation. Kaleidico represents an excellent example of the future of personalized medicine. Having the right medicine for the right patient based on understanding of the mechanism of disease and in turn having a diagnostic test, a genetic test, to select the right patient to receive that particular medicine. The vast majority of cystic fibrosis patients have a different genetic defect in which the protein does not reach the cell wall. Although the drug is supposed to only target a handful of CF sufferers with the G551D mutation, researchers are hopeful the drug could also help thousands of other patients with the inherited disease. The success of this approach hopefully will lead to the development of new medicines to address the more common mutations in cystic fibrosis and also serve as a model for the development of medicines for other conditions. 
Kaleidico is marketed at about 294000 for a yearly prescription, depending on the severity of the disease in each patient. Of the 1,200 patients that Kaleidico can help, only a few will actually be able to afford the drug. Health insurance companies currently do not cover the drug, as it would be far less expensive to get a complete lung transplant. If Kaladico took over 15 years of research and over 75 million to fund, how is Vertex making any money from this new drug? Will companies create drugs like this for different diseases? How many will actually be able to afford the medicine? And is it really worth it? Since going on Kaladico two and a half years ago, I've noticed that my cough is not an issue anymore. I can look back over the last couple of years and see all that I've accomplished that I probably couldn't have done without a higher level of health. And it's really made a huge difference. In the future, Vertex plans to study the drug in patients as young as two years old. Researchers hope that by using the drug earlier, they will be able to prevent permanent lung damage, which is the primary cause of death for cystic fibrosis patients.